Hello plant growers, like I said in the previous video, this one is going to be about growing huge peppers in containers. No matter the variety, spicy or mild, all pepper plants grow very well in containers and you can grow some serious sized plants even in quite small pots. With the right tools, fertilizer, sunlight and water you can get solid results. And at the end of the video I will show you a little tip I use to keep my harvested peppers fresh as long as possible. If you are interested in this kind of content, make sure to subscribe because more videos are on the way. That being said, let's get back to this pepper video. I've started a lot of pepper seeds in a wet paper towel and moved them into seedling trays when they germinated. We grow quite plenty every year, though we change the variety from year to year. Sadly, I can't tell the variety of these. The seeds were given to me by a friend from Austria with words Awesome sweet flavor, you have to grow these. So I apologize for that, if any of you guys recognizes it, you can let me know in the comment section, I'll be more than happy to learn something new. When the seedlings have 4 to 5 true leaves, transplant them to containers. Peppers need room for their roots to spread, but you don't have to choose 5 gallon size containers in order to get solid sized plant and harvest. I'm using 10 liter size pots filled with garden compost mixed with wood ash, eggshells and forest soil. Well-drained and fertile soil is the key to productive pepper plants. You can buy high-quality potting mix or you can make one yourself. Just make sure it's rich in organic matter. Three weeks after transplanting, I've decided to top one of the plants to find out which one will do better in the same conditions. If you're interested in final results comparison, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. At this point I am fertilizing them once a week with nettle fertilizer and every other week I mix it with chicken manure fertilizer. When they start to flower, I'll change it the other way, which means once a week I'll use chicken manure fertilizer and every other week I'll mix it with the nettle one. The reason is, I want to make them grow as much as possible until they start to flower, so I use fertilizer mainly rich in nitrogen and when they start to flower, I use more balanced nutrient source, though I still use the nettle one, because it has more benefits than just its high nitrogen content. Find your peppers sunny location and water them more frequently as they grow bigger. Their roots will fill the pot very fast, so bigger plants will require daily watering. On hot sunny days, be prepared to water them twice a day as the soil goes dry very quickly in small containers. Especially if you grow your peppers in greenhouse. If you want to reduce the evaporation of water, cover the surface of the soil with leaves, straws, pine bark or whatever organic matter is available to you. But keep in mind, pepper plants suffer from overwatering, so be careful that your plants don't sit in water. I'm sure you've already noticed, here is a wire around two branches, that's because one branch has snapped while I was bending them from each other in order to make them get more sunlight. Luckily, it has grown back together and the plant doesn't look like it has caused any significant damage to it.
And here is the tip on how to keep your harvested peppers fresh as long as possible. Put them in a plastic bag with napkin or paper towel to absorb moisture and prevent your peppers from rotting and put it in a fridge. This way they will easily last fresh for two to three weeks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and consider subscribing for more plant growing content. Thank you very much for watching, see you soon!